H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, um, today just we're going to look at um, in this video lecture how we're going to install the Jenkins and how to run the Selenium test from Jenkins. So part of this we're going to learn how we can do this Maven project and the Maven integration. All right, so let's get started. And first thing is like you have to download the Jenkins. Um, Google for it. So I can ask you like how to do this um, Selenium test, the basic test, like what we created and what you're seeing on my desktop. Maybe just you can refer to my previous video lecture. Um, okay, so now we're going to download the Jenkins. Okay, so I'll go to this Jenkins download. All right, so this is the page, download Jenkins. And just go to this documentation that helps you um, just navigate you can install the Jenkins. You see, like here they talk about download, pretty much uh, straightforward, simple four steps. So download Jenkins. Okay, so it's going to download this WAR file, and once it gets, um, just the prerequisite here, like as I mentioned, uh, what is needed is um, Java 8. So if you're not, uh, did not sure how to install this Java, or in my previous lecture. Part of the Selenium installation, we discussed this um, Java installation as well. It's a bit straightforward. Just go to google.com, search for um, Java download, and then yes, download the SDK. So that we know you're all set for Selenium, Java, uh, for Selenium, Jenkins, for other stuff. Okay, so still it's downloading, and once it gets downloaded, right, all you have to do is um, just go to this uh, folder like you're going to copy this work file and go to that, uh, navigate to that folder. Then you're going to run, you open your console, then just run this command. So that you should be able to see if the Jenkins uh, is going to up and running. All right, so, so part of this, like uh, as I mentioned, like, so I'm going to learn uh, the Maven also. So I can assure, again, um, how to download the Apache Maven, right? So, go for it. Go to google.com, then download the Apache uh, Maven stuff. Okay. Um, so, go over here, download uh, Apache Maven. Okay, so here, um, just you can navigate and look at um, um, the define. This is the one. Just you're going to download this um, zip file. By the zip. So that um, is going to download the Apache Maven as well. Okay, I think we're almost there. So once it downloads, Then what you're going to do is you're going to extract the content of the zip file under the C drive. Okay, so we're almost there. All right, so. Apache Maven is downloaded. Just all you do is um, double click on zip file, extract all these contents, and then put it under the C lab, C lab so that you know you don't have any confusion to refer the zip, to refer the content of these files right later part of the time. Uh, seems like we already uh, we also have this um, uh, the Jenkins jar file also. Okay, so this is the Jenkins jar file. So what you're going to do is um, 
Again, you're going to put it, this uh, word file, under the C drive. Just create a folder like um, Jenkins. So, you know, like, uh, just let me give you some high-level introduction about the Jenkins tool. It's a continuous integration testing tool. So what it means is when the developer's build is available, so um, you want to run your tests so that you're going to create different jobs. So it's just going to look for what is this your upstream job and then say, okay, so whenever that upstream job is ready, it's going to down, it's going to trigger your job and then your tests are going to execute. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you that stuff, right? And then this is where the Jenkins folder is created and then paste that work file. So now you can open the console uh, command prompt. Then go to the Twitter folder, like C Jenkins, right? And then so you're going to run this command. Part of this documentation, as you see, if you go to the Jenkins folder, we download the Jenkins work file, and you're going to run this command. Okay. Just copy and go to your console, and paste it. Okay. So run it. So that is going to run. But just uh, again, prerequisite for is you need to have this Java 8 download. Otherwise, like you will get here um, some kind of errors saying that um, you couldn't find the Java. All right, so we're good. So it says like Jenkins. Uh, you see, like initially, it's going to give you the password, and also if you go to this uh, folder, also like it's going to say this password. So just copy paste this um, password. Just you can do. Okay, just mark it. This is the password, right? Uh, just to make sure we don't have any spaces. Up, oh. and then copy it. Okay, I think um, um, in a moment, like your Jenkins is fully up and running. You see, so now you should be able to start Jenkins. Like, um, so this is the one where you can put the local host. See the local host, eight zero eight zero, right? That's the port. Then it should start the Jenkins. Okay, so this part, like it say here, is asking initially the the password. You're going to paste the password here, and then continue. So that um, it's going to install the required plugins and the stuff. So how will go with um, the size of the plugins? Or you can also go with the customized options what is needed for you. So it's going to at least it's going to install what are the required plugins part of this installation. That you know we do not worry about at least the basic plugins. So it's going to do that all the stuff from this console. See. And what are the plugins installed? So you're good to go. All right. So while it's doing that stuff, now if you go back to this Eclipse editor, right? How are you going to create a Maven project? You see here, you're going to select File New, and you're going to select a Maven project. Right? So you're going to select a project, and here, like you see, the Maven, and select this Maven project. Okay. Again, at high level, like what this Maven is, Maven is a build management tool. Right? We're going to um, build your projects. Um, it could be a testing project, it could be a development project. So you can build the various stuff. So select this Maven project, and with Maven, that like, you get a, a form file. So that's where you're going to mention like what are the things that's needed for you to run the test. The form form x form dot xml contains uh, what are the required plugins, whether you're test engine framework or JMU framework. You're going to mention. This stuff. Okay, so okay, next. Just accept uh, the defaults. Follow the wizard art. And then here you're going to create a group ID. Uh, something like say my group ID is a test. And then artifact ID is uh, demo. Then finish. Okay, so now you got 
you see this is how like um, the stuff is created so just doing something like just maybe just you can wait till it completes 100 percent okay uh, let's go back and look at still it's in I think it is also doing translation So good to go. Even you can create um, the some first admin user also instead of using the default admins, right? So you can also set um, like admin usernames and passwords, confirm password, and save and finish. So that next time you can also use this admin user instead of using the default admin user. What comes with um, Okay, so then I think it's doing that stuff. Okay, let's wait. Okay, I think the the Eclipse now has the, all the Maven stuff. The Maven project is created. You see this folder to the form.xml. Uh, so now, so let's create a, a test type. So here, like we're going to create your own test in your follow This is the default test that what generates, but you can just come up with your own project. Like what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this this file package into the Maven project. I think it's affecting again everything. Might maybe you might have a question like you didn't look at my previous video. What is this uh, what is this package is? So I did, as I said, go to the video and look at so that you can come back and then continue with this. Okay, just I'm going to paste it here. So basically like, this is my first test. So you see like here, um, it's complaining something, right? Okay, what is this web driver? Because the reason is you didn't associate the Selenium stuff. Okay, let's do that. They associate the Selenium libraries to this project as well. Go to these properties and Java build path. Then add your external Java files. Okay, so now we're going to look at Selenium stuff like clip files. And then add one more stuff. Well, just add all the required library files. So let's go add the Selenium standard support. All right, so now you see some of these errors are gone. Still you're seeing some errors, right? Okay, what is this? So this is led to your testing. You see, the moment um, you place your, your cursor over, then it's saying, okay, so you need, you're missing this test engine library in your project. Go and add that library. So those errors are gone, right? Now your test is very good to run it. If you right click, then now you can run this test as a test in this suite, right? To recap, test engine is your framework where you're going to run the test. Okay, so now first let's try to run this one as a test engine framework, just to make sure the test is good to go. Excellent. Okay, so the test is working very good and no issues. And it's also going to now update the results. Then get the test is passed up there. Okay. And then, um, now how are we going to run this? So right, if you right click on this palm file, now you can run the same test as a Maven test. Okay. So now what you're going to do is, uh, um, in order to run this Maven, 
probably sometimes you will get anyway so this is the um, the status of the test like it says there are no failures so everything is good and this is what actually the results what you get right eh? so one of the tests and the tests are passed and then um, now how are we going to run this maven test right if you right click and then select maven um, run as a maven test So now you see um, it's complaining, saying that um, you yeah, because you see like it's looking for a JDK, but it's looking it, the one that is picking up is the JRD. Like when you have to run this Maven, all you need is uh, you have to make sure you're going to you set up the um, JDK. So how you can do that? Go to this Windows and go to this Preferences. Okay, and then um, go to this Java, install JREs, go to this execution environment, and here navigate to probably like you might have installed this uh, Java 1A, but still you see it's showing just JRE, right? It should show JDK here, development kit instead of runtime environment. So then, how you do that? So you right click on this project, and then let's see. Go to the properties and then here go to the uh, java now it's like i think uh, okay so here like you're going to add um the libraries okay and then select um jre system libraries um, hit next so you should be able to select here alternate jre okay and then, so here, select this install JREs and add it. Okay, next. And then directory. So you should be able to select the JDK that is installed on your system. Uh, go to the Java. See, Java. And here, like, you should be able to see JDK. And hit OK. Alright, then cool. So finish. So now you should be able to see JDK, right? Select the JDK instead of random and wrong. And apply and close. Finish. Apply and close. So now even if you go to this uh, Windows preferences, right, you should see the JDK. And now go to this execution environments, select this and make sure you check this JDK instead of jarring apply and close so okay now let's try to compile it again okay run as a moment test so this time hopefully it goes through because it, it's going to find jdk you see okay uh, you see now uh, still it's giving some help uh, build failures. Okay, um, let's try to find out compilation errors. Uh, package uh, watch selenium does not exist. Oh, there's something related to the selenium. Why is that? So, okay. Okay, um, so here, like, see, part of this, so you can look at, um, like, why this uh, build path. Okay. Um, Let's look at. Okay, so here probably it's complaining something like say ORG selenium doesn't exist. Um, we associated that. Okay. Okay, so let me go here 
uh, where I have this project. Um, sometimes, like, say you get this error, like, all you have to do is cre clean the repository for these users and wherever your system is, right? You see, there's a repository. Let's clean this repository. Just delete it. Okay, so it's asking, let me close this. Okay, and then open again the Eclipse. So this is our space launch it. Okay, so we cloned the, we closed uh, and cleaned the repository. Let's try to build it again. We went test. You see, now it's getting downloaded. Sometimes, like, see, so you just go to the that particular folder dot empty folder and it's under your users cc whatever like you have this uh, system right see now it started so it executed or says um, so it says like the build is successful so that's how like you can um, build this maven project and so now how you're going to do this um, in in jenkins right so we're going to look at that part. Now we discuss here, install the mavens and then install them. Now the next step is how we're going to do this uh, maven project from Jenkins. Okay, it's going to get that part in our next video. Thank you.